Hey guys, Ben Plays here. Welcome to episode 3 of The Great Ace Attorney, where um, XSplit just died on me, and so we skipped a bunch of text in between the two episodes by accident. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's your line first, man. It looks like um, you said the witness test... You already did this line, right? Yeah, no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Takatsuchi Aochi, will have contributed to the amity of these two great empires is an honor. And then Ryunosuke says, how can this be happening? What? If what you say is true, then there's something... Wait. Oh, how can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Stand tall, Ryunosuke. It's not over yet. If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it, to draw out the truth in your cross-examination. A uh, sort of truth. I, I don't know, Kazuma. <clears throat> the defense is entitled to cross-examine the witness, but make it quick. Understood? Ugh. Rules can be so unbending at times. Uh. <clears throat> Screw the rules, I have money. Dude, dude. Okay, so I don't believe there's actually any explicit contradictions in this testimony. Yes. So Nothing we just gotta press, press everything. Something? Press everything, alright. What do you think, Rinosuke? Uh, um, ooh. What's the matter? I can't find anything. I can't find a clear discrepancy anywhere. Oh, here's the tutorial for pressing. I'm done for. I can't win this trial. Of course. No. 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 No! <laughs> Listen, the first thing to do is calm down. You can't expect witness statements to be full of holes every time. So just take your time, and try to tease more information out of them first. What do you mean? You can choose to either press or present against each of the witness statements. If a witness is saying something you're suspicious about, press him on it with Q. With a little luck, you may get more details, which could prove to be crucial. Right, I see. Oh man, I'd like to be pressing Q. Why? You know, from Honey Pop? Q? No. Q, from Honey Pop. Oh, Q! Okay, that... The important point is, there's no sense in holding back. If anything even slightly jars with you, press the witnesses on it and press them hard. Alright, got it. I'll press them like blocks of tofu. What? What?! <laughs> Water. The professor wasn't alone in the restaurant, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm so glad I saw this text, because I wouldn't have seen it if I just started pressing away. <laughs> and one way or another, this cross-examination is going to prove I'm right. It's time to press them for all they're worth. My fate depends on it. I don't know why press was in quotes like that. Yes! No, no, no. It's not the same thing at all. For a start, I didn't fire that gun. We have a difference of opinion on that. The opinion of a uniformed officer versus that of a fledgling cadet. Mm. Um, I don't think so. Consider this, defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Um, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, it is an undeniable fact that I did blink. If a tree falls in the forest, and no one is around to hear it, did it really make a sound? So there you have it. Yeah, the, 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 it still made the vibrations in the wind. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just, it, he's making a very similar point to that. Right, right. Er, have what? Tension! I don't know what to say that. The sound of the firearm rang in my ears, and the very next moment... 
I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you? Grr. And let us not forget that the antiques dealer witnessed the accused in this most incriminating position as well. Isn't that so, Karakuta-san? Eh? Where am I? Where is Yukiko? Eh? Yes, what he is good at the foreign man he was. Oh, that young lad in black. That myself I did see. Yes! Yes, it may be true that I was holding the gun at that point in time. What happened to hold it? I like hold it better. But I've told you already. Hmm. That's only because I picked it up off the floor. Well, obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you could explain it away. I had just finished drinking my coffee and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. And at exactly that moment... Bang. Bang. A gunshot rang in my ears. Hmm. Food of events beyond our control, life is. Like my bowels, beyond my control. Sorry, what do you mean? I mean I'm incarnate, shunny boy! In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which pre precipitated this testing predicament. Whereas, conversely... I think I saw him use this knife in the trailer, and I was like, why... And I oh, even yeah. said, like, uh, why, why is he allowed a knife in court? I didn't realize he was, like, examining it. <laughs> Regulations to explicitly say whips only! I failed to pick up the cobalt from the floor and find myself in an equally testing predicament as a result. Anyway, the fact remains, myself, I did see you. With pistol in hand standing over the foreigner. <laughs> Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Yes! You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady I'm there. Ah, as you have been at pains to point out time and again, I feel like I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Arg. Only there'd been more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know, of course the place was almost empty. It's what you'd expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. You ain't lived in my house. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day, and why he was alone. Well, his class schedule. I hope... I hope we can finish this by 3.30. It's 3 o'clock now. Yes, Your Excellency. Oh, uh, Your Ex... Excellently? <clears throat> yes, Your Excellency. There was indeed a reason. <clears throat> there was? Uh -huh. This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Council? Explain yourself, now! Explain yourself! It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. H Hada... Really? Really, game? Hada Clinic, yes! There would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. Um... Really, game? <laughs> 19th November, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm, the very day of the incident. So, the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder... Trends. What do you think, Rinosuke? Hmm? Well, it is hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be in entered into the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Should I ask? 
Yes. We didn't think it was relevant is yes. just prosecutor jargon for it's probably exculpatory. If I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? Um, it might be useful? The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Yeah, there's something called discovery in American court. Never mind, this is Japan. Who cares? <clears throat> That event mentioned that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurants are of no concern. Objection! Restaurants, plural. Yes, because he was in two places at once. Whether or not they are of concern is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible all possible avenues. I beg your pardon. You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Very well. <clears throat> Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. Ah! Youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's a most disturbing trend. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. Ooh, did I just get a text? No, I'm kidding. It's this game. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. <laughs> you can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you'd like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you'd forgotten, but these witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Korakuta-san. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Yes! Press, yeah. So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone. Uh, dot, dot, dot. That I did. Forgive me for the position I place you in. I didn't realize it was just the dots for a second. So, the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget the incontestable evidence we have to support their statements as well. As can clearly be seen, there is no room for doubt. There is only a single beef steak on the victim's table. A meal for one. What, no T-bone this time? No. The antiques dealer. The sergeant and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, then why? If I'm perfect if I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out! Yes! Why aren't you telling the truth? Straight up, okay. What did you say, Cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's just not possible. Unfortunately for you, Defendant Narahodo, it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. <coughs> Sorry? The waiter whose testimony the court heard earlier clearly stated the same thing. He also said the victim was alone. Leela, you want to go and knock some very sensual boots? Leela. That's right. Precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I, I, I... 
If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be, be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. <laughs> Excellent work, Rinosuke. We've glean gleaned some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got before. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? Ah, uh, tutorial stuff. Skip the tutorial. Blah 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 use blah use blah I have already Uh poke poke you're trying to poke something at it? Oh, crosshairs. He's explaining crosshairs. Jeez Louise. Yeah, that took a little too long, that animation. I'll tell you what, you guys, if you want to pause the video and actually see the explanation for the controls, if you care, because, um, more likely you'll play this on, like, Switch or some other console where you have a controller. Okay, Whoa. so what part should I look at? Uh, can you touch the middle? Does it open up? Because when you turned it no, around, it looked like it folded. There, see? Yeah. It's got a corner on it. You figured that uh, out much faster than I did. And then I think all you have to do is read the text here. <laughs> Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical, his medical history. Ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Hmm. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he'd had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. He said topical anesthetic. That's the most modern yeah. practice in the West for pain relief. Topical means it goes That's on on the teeth. On the skin. Um, on the outside, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, yes, if, I call, I don't know if I call... An yeah, laughing gas isn't topical. You suck it down. Yeah. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Ah, there's a okay. cautionary note from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedures until anesthetic effects have passed. Ah. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Okay. There we go. It's been updated in the court record, so now we have information. With this new information, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So, I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Okay. Now it's up to you to figure out which statement. <laughs> well, let's see. As I'm um, letting you drive next. for now. Alright, next. Next. I don't think it's this one either. Let's try that. Okay. I would say try presenting the metal. Yeah. The report card. Yeah. Prohibited from eating. Oh, the music went away. Um. Uh. Well, I think. Um. What are you wittering about, lad? You call yourself a lawyer? No, he calls himself a high school college student. I wish I could, but first and foremost here, I'm the accused. Ryunosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully, you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully, just say what you're thinking. 
All right, and thanks for the advice. Good advice. Kurakuta-san, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Eh? I see, and I don't see. What of it, my boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement... <clears throat> something clearly doesn't add up. Objection! Dear me, dear me, have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But... <clears throat> Let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. No. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. But that's, um... Remember, Rienosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Oh my god, do I finally get to make a point on my own? Your Excellency, be I believe we're finished here. There's simply, surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. Sorry I took your line. The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all. For the simple reason that... There is no one else besides this pale-faced pupil who could possibly have perpetrated the crime. This medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half petrified me, boy! Of course I believe it! How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hata Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted, Eh? What is this now? And furthermore... If I told you that as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating... Just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had orders not to eat, so what? You could put it that way. It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that that can't be. Kurakutasan. That's you. What, boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed, sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more. But wait, there's more! You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that cannot possibly be the case. Ugh. Because the victim, as we now know, had just had one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of the anesthetic. Ah! Expertly done, partner. Partner! What? What is this nonsense? You little upstart. These are baseless accusations. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. It still doesn't count as look at this photograph, but you, you can be look at this photograph. sure if, if it says the words look at this photograph, I will sing that. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Objection! Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? No. How dare you! I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. Yeah! Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Rinosuke? Hmm? Oh yes, most definitely.
Absolutely. Oh. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leads one very crucial conundrum. Who in fact was eating the pictured beef stick? Smack. The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, Johnny? Counsel? Oh, that, that means me, doesn't it? Alright, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of you turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it! So, um... The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been... ME! <laughs> the as of yet known, unknown third party, the mystery lady. So, option four there, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it can only have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. Objection! You will because not let this go, will you? There was no such person. Yes! Yes! There was, because I saw her. Okay, that doesn't mean crap when you're the defendant. I hope you know that. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it. Alright. We have strong evidence to support her assertion. It's clear that these witnesses' testimonies are unliable. Are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial. Relentlessly. Nice. Kazuma? Are you insane? You! You would take on the government? Don't worry, Counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. Those two witnesses in the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated We're with here. evidence that the victim was not alone. So if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies... Obviously, you will be charged with perjury. Since when has perjury been a thing in Ace Attorney? Right. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. C complicit in the murder? Uh, no! No! Negative! There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. I was just following orders. Oh. oh that's right, as the man says. Just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what um, they told us. Should we be surprised? No. Oh, I goofed. Oh. What? What did you just say, Karakuta-san? Oh, um, no. Uh, you were just following orders. Now, hold on, laddie. Uh, I was, um, uh, uh. Say you never saw the gentlewoman? How did you know she was uh, gentle? When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? What? Objection! Well, how do you know she's from overseas? What? What is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you pair? Yeah, dot, 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 dot. Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue! Uh, <clears throat> order! Order! Council, explain what's going on here! 
Okay, we have to hurry because I I need to get off around like Sorry. 30. It's uh, painfully right. clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Willem! That's classified! So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... you wouldn't! This can't be happening! Why is my child pulling out my mustache? Ryunosuke. Judging from the way they're reacting to this... I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. Damn it, However, I don't believe Auchi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or... or the police, I suppose. Well? Any ideas about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. Okay, we might get a penalty here. Hmm, alright. If we're not careful. Got it. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it really did, was, really did wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? Before? We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we missed. I can tell you right now we don't need to look at the photographs again. There's no time to lose. That's good because you, you can't thoroughly check the photographs like you can other uh, pieces of evidence. Ah, well, that's good. It's proof if it's bleh. if it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated. I assure you, the penalty will be severe. Please wait, Your Excellency. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god, I know nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all this, huh? Um, well, Your Excellency... Uh, no time to think. I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes into my head. Yeah, let's wait on that. Any ideas what evidence might turn up <laughs> oh, gosh. of influence? Uh, what about that there business card we got earlier? We didn't, like, turn around or anything. Correct. He said it was his, but how do we know he's li not lying about that? Can you flip it over? Yes. I was waiting for you to say that. Ah. Chief Inspector Satoru Hosonaga. Hey, he's no freaking. He's no. Wow. Well, that's unexpected. What is? I got a penalty because I didn't. Act I didn't actually click the thing. So last time I got a penalty, oh, you just didn't presented it. Click it. I just presented it, and it's like, what well, are you tricky. presenting? <laughs> wow, it's literally the right piece of evidence. It was the right piece of evidence. So I call, I called out who it was. Actually, first I said it was the. I think I said it was the old man at first. I got oh. that wrong because I didn't see this. Then I was like, okay, I have to look at this thoroughly. Look, do you see what? It says the witness's name here, Satoru Hasunaga. Well, yes, business cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that's unexpected. It's his job title. His job? Oh! Chief Inspector Satoru Hosunaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? I have no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. If they're wielding it somehow here... So is he with, like, the Shinsen Gumi, then? The what-what? Oh, they were kind of like the police in Edo during the Tokugawa Shogunate. Kind of. I literally know nothing about Japanese history, so li literally okay. everything you just said went over my head. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is... 
Uh, that's gonna be Mr. Monokuma hair over there. Monokuma hair? Yeah. Yeah, that's black and white. Yes! Looks more like Edgeworth hair to me. Well, surely that would be Satoru... Satoru Hosonaga-san. Hosonaga-san? The waiter who took the stand earlier? Objection! Puppycock! What possible reason would the waiter have to make the, these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. For once, I, I would agree would. with you. If, that is, the man truly were just a waiter. What? If he truly were... What do you mean? Come on, Ryunosuke. Time to hit this course with the court with the truth. Ah! The truth about Satoru Hosonaga-san's real identity, as proven by this evidence. Uh, business card. Look at yes. this card! Okay, this is the dumb. The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question. Hmm. I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency, that's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that's of interest. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon? <laughs> I beg your pardon, too. Or, or perhaps I should have said the front? <laughs> yes, it's the front of the back of the card. That's where the telling detail is. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? I'm really deep into my drinks right now. <sighs> I guess I'll say it for him. Hosonaga-san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. The waiter's profession? But that's surely... Good gracious! Great balls of fire! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation... Blah, 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 blah. What? The waiter is a police detective? I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard a, a mention of this before? The Imperial Police... The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power. Absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses there in the stand. Was it, in fact, the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Again, how do you know she's foreign? Um, like, she's, like, obviously white, I guess? Uh, well... I mean, dun, 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 dun. These guys are white too, but well, they're technically they got, they're Japanese, aren't they? Yeah. Inspector Hosonaga. I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. Um, I. I was wondering if you were going to lose his voice, but you, you just got right back into it. <laughs> the court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. <laughs> oh, um, well, um, yes. Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once or I'll hold you in contempt. Um, but of course, here you are. Well, I've taken the liberty. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So, you mean to say, you really are a detective? Also, this case is probably going to take like four hours because we're almost two hours wow. in now. Holy cow! Dot dot dot. Mm, yes. I got to a to be continued in in my failed recording. 
Ah, of course, your salary must be really low. I was working undercover. I mean, he's undercover. not wrong with the salary. Yes. There have been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter working undercover. I don't think there's another testimony. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? That would be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Is it really, though? Hmm. Very well, then, Inspector Hosanaga. But you'll have to elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. This is going to take me months to get through, by the way. Right. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. Dot, 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 dot. If that is indeed true, clearly you would have been aware of this presence. Blah. Clearly you would have been also aware of this person's <coughs> presence, having served the table in question. Not that you're in trouble, no one ever gets dinged for perjury around here. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I'm led to assume... Yeah, they made a huge deal of perjury, and then nothing happens as far as I know. Right. That in your professional capacity as a police officer, you require these witnesses to be in agreement. Hang on, I missed a line. Did you? Ah. Would that be correct? <laughs> dot, 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 dot. It didn't, it didn't correct, let me skip your it. Excellency. That's good. Unbelievable! I'm losing my mind now. Hmm, as I suspected. Dot 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 dot. I have taken the liberty of adding more dots. <laughs> as soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out to the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an Englishwoman. So the truth comes out, at last. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the Bureau. <coughs> yes. It was then that I received some special orders. Were you Burger King? Special orders? You mean to say... Remove the Englishwoman from the scene at once. Da da da. It was made clear that the Englishwoman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what is this? What if this Englishwoman was the killer? I think it would be anyone's... Blah. I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment, even the Emperor. An Englishman has been murdered on our soil. To name an Englishwoman as the primary suspect? Why can't you? I still don't get that. Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. Well, I guess we would have to find irrefutable evidence, then. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the Phantom Woman in this case. Hmm. But it's not right! Everyone's speechless. Don't, 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 don't. One possibility does spring to mind. 
What do you mean, Kazuma? Yumei University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. And I'm fairly certain that one of them, studying in the medical faculty's research laboratory, is a young English woman. What? Mm. <laughs> You're a shrewd man. How can you fight God this far? I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. Why are Nosa and Kura I... Kurikata, like, just trembling over there? <laughs> uh, screensaver. I don't know. When I remove the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector! The English woman sitting at the university professor's tables was a certain Miss Giselle Brett. She is indeed a foreign exchange student studying in the research laboratory of Yume University's medical faculty. What is happening here?! This guy gets more nasally by the minute. <clears throat> I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene. And ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this okay, situation. Okay, are we finally getting the to be continued? I think we're right at the to be continued. Hmm, <clears throat> dot dot. Da 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 da, Pilgrim. Very well, my thoughts on the matter are as follows. Now pay attention. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. Ping. However, as we have now discovered that the premise is false, it would be a desecration of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. Objection! But, but your excellency, that would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send the telegraphic report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, counsel. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceeding of my courtroom. Ah! Inspector Osanaga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with utmost urgency. Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett. I'm trying to think of this. Uh, I got. I got. There has to be somewhere. At once, Your Excellency. But, but that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. Don't the courts override that? Dot, dot, dot. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. I probably won't be able to do another recording for a week, just because I okay. don't want to stockpile too many. Right. So it won't be a problem. <laughs> God, tuberculosis sucks. Nothing will get in my way. <coughs> He's gonna drop dead at the end of this. Right? <laughs> Court will adjourn briefly for recess. I plan to use the tether ball. The prosecution must call the English student Giselle Brett to the witness stand. We are two seconds away from the to be continued. Do I make myself clear, Pilgrim? <laughs> yes. Your Excellency! Good. Then we'll have a 30 minute recess before reconvening. Dibs on the swing. There we go, finally. To be continued. How are you for recording time? Um, I, I, I am at the end of my recording time, so I'm going to save our current progress. Um, you don't save it in Active LP! Okay. Actually... With all your technical difficulties, you probably should, though. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember, save slot two. Yo. Just waiting on your outro. All right. Um, that'll do it for this episode of the Great Ace Attorney. In the next episode, um, we will start. Um, we will start the next part of court. Hopefully, we'll have a second uh, guest voice actor. Um, to voice the female characters, because there's a ah. friend that might be interested in joining. Groovy! So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm out of time for today, so this has been The Great Ace Attorney. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao!